Hey Head Squeezers, it's time to trawl through all your tweets and your Facebook posts and all the comments that you've been writing below the videos to answer some of your questions. Now, Mr James May is off on holiday again today. I think actually he's trying to escape the freezing cold weather we've got here in the UK and bury to the centre of the earth. So he's asked me to come along and answer some of your questions. These ones are all about the weather. Hence why I've been sent outside into this glorious freezing UK. Um, we're going to have a look at why is the sky blue, why are sunsets red, and why does it always rain on the weekend? Now I'm going to try to tackle the first two questions at once. Loads of you have been sending in the question, why is the sky normally blue? And we also got this one through from Joe Wells on Facebook who says, what causes red sky at night? And is it true that that means there's gonna be good weather tomorrow? Great question. Let's first sort out the colors. So the light that we get from the sun is made up of all the colors of the spectrum. And they each have a different wavelength from blue that has short wavelengths to red, which has a long wavelength. Now, all the atmosphere is made up of loads of different gases, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and all the rest, but also it's got dust and dirt in it. Now what happens is as that light moves through the atmosphere, it actually hits those gas molecules and gets absorbed by them. Now that happens a lot more for the blue light than it does for the red light. And then that blue light gets spat back out again, scattered off in all directions. That is called Rayleigh scattering. So what happens is as the light moves through the atmosphere, all that blue light gets absorbed and scattered all over the place and the red just keeps on going through. So when you look up at the sky, when it's not cloudy like today, what you see is all that blue scattered light reaching your eyes. So what about the red sunset I hear Joe asking me? Well, at sunset, the sun is a lot lower in the sky and the light has to travel through a lot more atmosphere before it reaches your eye, which means it has a lot of time for all the blue light to scatter off in all directions and it's the red light that hits your eye. And that's why sunsets are red. So what about that saying, red sky at night, shepherd's delight? Does it actually hold any truth? Well, the weather in the mid latitudes, where we are in UK, America, that travels from west to east. Now you get a really good sunset when there's a high pressure because it squashes all those gas molecules, the dust, the dirt, the water molecules. So you get more blue light scattered and more red light hitting your eye. And if there's a really good high pressure, a really good sunset in the west at sunset, then it's gonna travel overnight mm. eastwards. So in the morning, that high pressure is gonna be where you are and you're gonna have a lovely high pressure, dry, calm day. So yes, that does actually ring true. So that leaves us with one final Q&A about the weather before I completely and utterly freeze. And that comes in from at Heidi Peeps on Twitter. She says, why does it always seem to rain more at a weekend? And you know what it's like, you're sat in your office all week and it's beautiful weather outside and you just want to be outside. But as soon as it comes to the weekend, it is chucking it down. Is it just bad luck or is it science? Well, there was a bit of research done a few years back that said that it is actually true. It rains more at a weekend. Well, it does on the cities on the east coast of America, which is where they did the research. They found that on average, there is 22% more rain on Saturdays than on Mondays. And it's all down to the fact that we go to work from Monday to Friday. All of our commuting kicks out pollution. That builds up during the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, on average, better days. Thursday, Friday, especially Saturday, Sunday, horrible weather. Because all of that pollution in the air acts as microscopic starters for all those rain droplets to form. Right, it is starting to look even more gross here in the UK, so I'm gonna head inside for a coffee. If you've got any more questions, send us them on Twitter, on Facebook, or put them in the comments below any of our videos. Until next time, happy head squeezing. <laughs> oh!